Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the F7 F1 sitting at 6.3 battle rating, the Tiger Cat. What a huge plane, fantastic, sleek looking plane. Two massive engines with a very sleek frame. Lovely build I would say. She gets an air start. Of course, has a few bomb loads, so can be an attacker, but is mainly, of course, a fighter, a heavy fighter that can do a lot of damage from altitude. It does have two engines that, together with this frame, are quite good. And uh, with the uh, altitude you already start with, with the air start, and then climbing, this plane has a great start. On the bigger maps, the most excellent climbers will be able to catch up. But on medium to small sized maps this plane will basically always be one of the higher planes. And from that position you can have a lot of fun in the Tiger Cat. Now as it comes to maneuver as it comes to maneuverability and stuff like that, it is not one of the easiest planes to fly with. It's gotta be boom and zooming and energy fighting and keep it very strict. Energy fighting is also a bit tricky as the low low speed handling is a little bit tricky she gets a little bit cumbersome there but uh, when she's fast she is awesome and she actually is fast but before we get into the details of the plane do smash that like button leave me a comment i always enjoy that and if you are not subscribed yet of course do subscribe, we have a lot more content on the way. Rank 4 America is soon coming and after that we'll be focusing on the early jets. Also make sure to check the description for the links to my Rumble and Locals account. Join me on there and the Discord channel of course. It's open to you guys so uh, do find the link and join if you want to interact with me. Now. The top speed, the maximum speed in this plane at sea level without web is 603 kilometers an hour, without web and 333 width at 4500 meters. This is 498 without and 520 width. And finally at 6500 meters still take you to 470 without web and 477 with web. Now these speeds are very, very good at 6500 meters. This plane with web and without web is actually faster than the F8F, the Bearcat, which was one of the faster planes at that battle rating. And at the deck, the Bearcat is still insane. But this plane definitely comes close. And it, it is a very, very fast plane. And that is, is awesome. It's just awesome to be fast and to uh, enjoy boom and zooming in this plane. Great experience, the top speed in the dive is not magnificent, but for such a big plane it's not half bad either. It is 793 before she redlines and 860 before she rips apart. Now that's actually quite good for a big heavy fighter with double engines and stuff like that. There's a lot more drag on a plane like this, so she will never, uh, you know, as some of the better performer planes in, the, uh, in a dive. 900 900 plus 930 in some of the thunderbolts and stuff like that that is not something this plane can reach but 860 is is very good for a big plane like this control stiffening in the plane starts relatively late at 550 there is a small tick in the aileron compression and then at 650 you get another one but the roll rate is never great to begin with it is below average and uh, with those sticks it's very difficult to get some the guns on target uh, beyond 650 in a dive and and stay relevant in that dive so it's it's shorter boom and zoom runs with energy fighting is what this plane excels with the stall speed lies around 155 kilometers an hour it is uh, decent for a plane like this she has uh, excellent firepower this is awesome you have four 20 mm M3 cannons with 200 rounds per gun. And then you have that is um, added to with uh, four 12.7 mm Browning machine guns or 50 cals with 400 rounds per gun. I used a 600 meter convergence for this plane as everything is very centrally mounted in the uh, wing bases or in the nose. And um, but you can also use 800 meters with this uh, placement of the guns it doesn't really matter too much whether it's 600 meters 
or 800 meters. Um, for the 50 cals, I used the uh, tracer belt, which has the uh, armor piercing incendiary tracer shell, and that's it. That is a very complete shell. It 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 covers all the bases, and it really is a nice shell. I really converted to this shell r recently because I've been flying America a lot and really found out that at least in this day of age it, this, the tracer belt is really um, the one that causes the most fire and, and stuff like that and um, in the past I didn't quite like the, the tracer belt because it, it just it, you know obscured your vision a lot but I think they used more fireworks in the past because these days it doesn't bother me too much anymore the uh, tracers th they don't give as much firework anymore i think than they used to in the old days or maybe i'm just different now <laughs> i don't know but all the belts are basically usable you have the default belt with uh, apit 2 ap which is armor piercing and an incendiary shell universal has two times api armor piercing incendiary and an apit and two incendiaries and then the ground belt has APIT, incendiary, two APs and two APIs. And stealth is API, incendiary, API, incendiary. So all these uh, belts are very usable. For the 20 millimeters, I used air, which has three high explosive fragmentary incendiary shells and, two, and one uh, APT, armor piercing tracer. Uh, stealth belt is also usable, three heavies. The ground belt has three API and one heavy, so it is the opposite of air of the air belt. Universal belt has two API and two heavies, and the uh, default belt has heavy APT. So you know, all the belts have their pros and cons. Uh, uni and Def are both 50/50, just a different sequence in the shells. And uh, but uh, the air shells uh, work for me in this case. Of course, you still notice the 20 millimeter um, nerve that they implemented. Doesn't feel like it used to the 20 millimeters. At least the American ones don't. And as I've only flown American since they did that change. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's up to you what you use, of course, in the end. There are a few loads in bombs uh, for this plane as well. Two times 500, one 1,000 pounder, and the combination of those two, the last uh, and biggest load you can have, the one thousand and two five hundreds combination the ammo load is good for the 20 millimeters and excellent for the 50 cals 400 rounds is nothing to sniff at you can fire for a long time and if you want to use them separately then of course you have those um, belts or those amounts of ammo going right after each other first use the 50 cals or 20s and then the other way around I always used all the guns at the same time why there's more lead in the air and people will die quicker um, you know unless you're the most precise pilot and you're in the one or two percent of pilots in War Thunder that have just amazing aim and you fly enough hours every day so you can uh, keep that aim that high then it's not too much of a problem for you to use 50 cals only or stuff like that but that's just that's really for a very small minority of pilots to actually achieve that that level of aiming my aiming is on and off sometimes i'm very accurate when i'm awake when i'm not tired when i haven't worked a lot when i've rested uh, other days uh, and other moments when i fly less regular the aim becomes less good and i just want to have the most amount of shells flying through the air in, in that case but actually always just want to finish people off quickly uh, acceleration in a straight line is good in a dive it's very good uh, um, ex energy retention in the horizontal very good in the vertical it's good a little bit less good than in the horizontal really wants to go in a straight line in the vertical you get the drag coming in and you do lose uh, quite a bit of speed when you're maneuvering in this plane although with web you can keep uh, speeds above 300 kilometers an hour in a sustained turn so that is all right but um, yes he does lose speed when you maneuver it's not as good as uh, when she's in a straight line the climb rate in the plane is very good especially with the air start so your initial position is very good uh, maybe even great and um, 
if if you lose your altitude and you have to regain it, she's also not not bad at that. She's, she's uh, she still has a very good climb rate. Turn time in the plane is bad though, uh, and below average with flaps. The flaps rip off at around 560 kilometers an hour, and the roll rate is below average. So um, yeah, there it, the faster she is, gets a little bit better up until let's say from 300 to 550. That would be the ideal window for rolling in this plane. Uh, above that, uh, the aileron compression starts to kick in. The um, elevator controls stay very functional, by the way, at uh, high speed, so that's good. And the rudder as well. Maneuverability is below average overall, so that is definitely not one of the strings that this plane has. Durability in the plane is good. It can take a lot of damage. You also have two powerful engines. You can get home on one engine which is uh, beneficial to your survivability. Pilot is, is in an okay position, but it, it, it could be better, you know. Some of, the, um, some of the cockpits have better protection, but uh, you can have it all, right? Uh, the repair cost in this plane is 9,996 silver lines, which is good. It is on the low side comparatively with other planes at 6.3 battle rating, so you have that. Uh, the rewards in the plane for the RP uh, there is a 365% modifier with a 1.78 multiplier and the silver lines rewards are a 375% modifier with a 2.5 multiplier. The RP is actually below average for its battle rating but the silver lion is decent to good and uh, thus it doesn't make for a bad silver lion earner display. Once you learn how to fly her, she can net you very consistent results. And um, she does quite well when it comes to that. I personally, I often fly with my squad and um, you don't get uh, many great high kill matches when you're flying with a lot of skilled pilots because you just, uh, you just don't get them all by yourself. Uh, I didn't get that great match, but I got consistent results in this plane that really gave me uh, a good solid feeling in this plane and uh, thus I can definitely recommend her. She is, uh, as I said, a boom and zoomer and energy fighter as it comes to styles uh, and more an energy fighter in that way than a boom and zoomer because of the earlier um, rip speed when it comes to that. I mean for a big heavy fighter it's quite good but comparatively to some of the American single seat fighters with single engines um, it is not that great because of the extra drag of course she can also do close air support I think uh, in ground orbits it can be useful maybe even in naval with the amount of guns soft targets are a treat for this plane a lot of ammo uh, a lot of guns different guns you can use separately on uh, on different targets so yeah all in all it's, it's a very solid plane that is uh, decently fun to fly nothing to complain about in this plane so we got the three kill match here with the best squad, Terror of the Sky, Bulletproof, 46,000 Silver Lions and 10,000 Modification and uh, 3,000 Vehicle Research Points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. The Tiger Cat is a plane that is very fast, it is very solid. So only the, the, the Bear Cat uh, can actually uh, catch up to it and in a straight line on deck very fast plane in the American line is one of the faster planes in a straight line um, two powerful engines amazing firepower excellent with the 450 cals and the 420 millimeters that is nice you have a little bit of versatility of um, game modes that you can have with the bombs and stuff like that and as, as, a, as a fighter with the air start uh, energy fighting boom and zooming this plane uh, can be a lot of fun when it comes to that coming from altitude you don't want to get mixed up in any turn fights or rolling scissors or stuff like that. The plane is not great at that. She's huge and uh, she, d she doesn't perform well in that. She also loses quite a bit of speed there. So that is nothing to, to work with. She can earn a little bit of silver lions uh, for the research tree. Researching the tree, she's not great. Um, all in all, the plane is solid. And uh, I would uh, say uh, try her out a few times get her spaded and, and see if you like her. But there's many planes at this battle rating that are um, very interesting as well, like the P-51H and the 
Bearcat and uh, you know with the cannons and there's uh, there's a lot to choose from at the battle rating so um, yeah but I uh, I like it I like the Tiger Cat she looks great as well by the way so all in all guys I hope you enjoyed the video I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel